Shannon, Tony uh, Foley. Did I get that right? <laughs> Thank you, Chair and members of the Tribe Board of Directors. My name is Shannon Alla, and I am the lead bus organizer with OPAL Environmental Justice Oregon. OPAL is a community organizing and policy advocacy organization working with low income and communities of color to engage, educate, and empower for environmental justice. Our work is primarily focused, our work is focused in organizing in Transit Health and Equity in East Portland, Multnomah County. I am also a lifelong resident of Northeast Portland, active in the African American community who've moved out to East Portland County from rapidly rising rents and gentrification. For most of my life, my family and I have constant, consistently used the TriMet bus for all of our basic needs, school, work, medical appointments, and church. I'm here today to oppose the fare increase. This fair increase represents another hardship which will impact the most vulnerable people in our community. Opal has been listening to the needs of transit riders, especially, specifically those who rely on TriMet every day. They are angry about the fare increase. Why? One, because fares have already risen 70% over the last decade. Two, in East Portland, bus service is not meeting community needs. Three, bus riders feel excluded from this decision making. We've also been listening to the experience of bus riders over the last three months, and we also have learned several things. Two-thirds of TriMet daily boarders are on the bus. Overcrowding is increasing on the bus, forcing people like the elderly to stand. Overcrowding is also triggering more passed-up incidents, which where buses leave behind raiding passengers. Bus shelters conditions need significant improvement, including benches, schedule information, garbage cans, and lighting to meet appropriate cleanliness and safety standards. For the popular two-zone ticket, raising the fare a nickel to 205 goes against common sense. Who cares a nickel around? Our community outreach tells us that transit riders, particularly bus riders who don't have access to max fare machines, will routinely find themselves having to overpay. This is a bad public policy and another hardship for working class riders. At times, we are not at a time where you are not, excuse me, at a time when you are once again cutting services, our communities are suffering from the most serious economic depression in a generation. We also think this is poor policy to bond future revenues for capital constructions as it's planned for the Orange Line Max. We understand that TriMet is hurting financially, but why are they steady building light rails? We know that public transit systems across the country are under attack with recent reports showing 90% are facing serious budget cuts right now. This is a critical problem, public good that we are committed to supporting and mobilizing our communities to support. We want to support increasing TriMet's budget for transit operations through advocacy at the state and federal, federal level. We pledge to work with you to advocate for a better funding to improve transit operations. In closing, this fair increase takes money from the poorest in our community. We understand that revenue is down and you have to make hard choices. We ask that you prioritize our most vulnerable riders and make decisions which serve the needs of the transit dependent communities. We urge you to amend today's resolutions to keep fares at their current level and to think about the burdens that will be placed on youth, mothers, <coughs> students, disabled, and other folks that depend on public transportation. Thank you. Thank you. Joseph.